Hi, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm gonna show you a review about the Xperia Launcher. This is the 4.1 or 4.2 from the Xperia devices. It's a little bit limited and you can have the settings of the launcher. It's very amazing, the launcher is small. As you can see here, I'm running a uh, 4.2.2 touches and they have the status bar here transparent so if you want to know how I did it you can watch my video which is in the link in the description below and you're gonna find the how okay and let's go to the launcher settings I'm just put the new button okay uh, you can download the launcher from the description below of course too go to launcher settings you can see here I get the home screen and the dual core and the Apple Row and buttons and just uh, it shares and general on the friends and back app and restore on the experience launcher. And let's begin with the home screen. You can see here in the first we get manage home screen and it's top grid. You can uh, put it five by five to if you are using a uh, big defaults file put or something like that uh you can do just a little bit the uh, here things you can hit the infinity infinity scrolling sorry and the state static wallpaper let's see how it's work now let's see now um, let's go again you can see screen integrator here integrator uh, you can put it in the top on on the uh, button i hear here in the button let's put it in the top okay it didn't work has in the button It didn't work on the top, I don't know for a reason, but it was working very good. And you got here the widget to resize a widget and show the labels. I actually recommend you to check them all in this section. Now let's go to dock bar. Then you uh, have an uh, option to enable dock or disable it. Of course, you know, uh, all of us gonna enable dock because we love docks. Now we get here transparent dock. Has with no background, it's optional for you, and you can hit the, the color if you want. Here, if you want color red, purple, blue, green, or anything, and you have a custom to put the, your image there. And here, the app drawer or the app drawer style here, classics and experience it, and you have advanced experience launcher. You can select whatever you want. Here, every gray, you can set it 5 for uh, 5 for 5 uh, by 4. That's what I love it actually. You can set it like whatever you want. Auto close and always for Spain as the expert devices, it's always auto close and infinite scrolling. And of course, you can hide some apps on the transparency of the background and of course, screen together. And of course the app labels and the portrait and the landscape of course you can check it because it's not very good to go to the average row with no labels to the patterns and just uh, just shares the home pattern action you can do nothing uh, all of us uh, love to do the home pattern here to go to the default uh, uh, page so hit here do nothing then Go to default screen. Check this option to go to the uh, default screen here. You know, the button long uh, long press here. Table. I think you can uh, customize it like you ever you want. Here, go to general and have some uh, options here to unread accounts. You can download from the Play Store. Or close folder to close folder after opening the app. Let's see how. 
picture to find the bird here and everything and I find it uh, it's closed but if you didn't check it the option it won't uh, close the folder it will be opened so it's something like uh, you want it or not here the app sharing and the use vibrations and customization you know and keep in memory this option if you have a low usage of memory or just the launcher if you have some problem with it just uh, check it but i have no uh, issues with it so i don't check it here the, the launcher as you notice that i have the icon back of the xperia so if you go to launcher just to check the icon and the appearance and the icon pack and hit the experience and you can see it here the experience launcher then you can select the color that you want then of course if you are packed up your settings and you want to install it uh, after a while you can restore it by this that's it guys for the experience launcher settings here of course you can add widget you don't have to long press or something just press it on it and you're gonna go there it's very smooth like you're gonna resize the widget here get to option after longer press remove or resize hit resize I'm gonna get uh, here resize it again Okay, that's it. I uh, get the launcher actions and the wallpaper and so. So that's it, guys, for the review of uh, Xperia Launcher. Hope you like it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. Peace.